Welcome back. I'm Diane. This is my vlog. I'm trying to do this every day. And this is my second day and my second vlog entry. My vlog is called Kubikafon. And the reason, well, you'll figure it out. Today I'm talking about one of my biggest enemies in life. There it is. Clocks. Not really time. I mean, time, I think, is our friend, right? I feel like I get lots of things done in my time, but I never have enough of it, and the clocks are always reminding me of all the things that I haven't done by the end of the day. And yes, this clock says 5.15. It's actually 11.59 a.m. Yeah, I've been meaning to change the battery in this clock for a long time. It looks like it's working, but apparently it's definitely not. It's my kid's bathroom. They don't pay attention to that clock. My daughter especially doesn't really pay attention. She's late all the time, but that's my problem. I'm late all the time. So yes, here's my clock by my bed, 12.05. Okay, so it's fast. Let's see, here's the real time, 11.59. It's six minutes fast. Does that help me? No, I'm late to pick up my kids all the time. They constantly complain. Okay, here's my husband's bedside clock, 11.59. I think his is actually uh, on time. Okay, and he used to be on time a lot until uh, he started hanging out with me too much, and now he's just as late as I am. Let's see. This clock says 12.07. It's actually 11.59, eight minutes fast. See, now I thought this was nine minutes fast. So that's really why I've been late, right? No, okay. But I work in a deadline industry, so you would think, yep, this is where my daughter's friends slept over the weekend. We haven't put the mattress away that that would help, and I am on time for all my deadlines for work. Uh, this is my daughter's clock. She's even worse than I am. 1234 is what it says, but it's actually 12 o'clock. So her time, her clock is 34 minutes ahead, but she thinks it's 40 or 45. So I guess that's her excuse too. Where are some other clocks? Now let's see in my son's room. He hates being late. I love that he wants to be on time everywhere. His clock says 12 and it's actually 12 o'clock. Wow, and he's the most on-time person in our household. Imagine that. That's probably what I should do, is go around the house and have all the clocks be the real time. I've tried that. It didn't work either. Oh, no. This one's behind. Again, another reason I must be late. Okay, that's the one in the living room. What about the ones in the kitchen? Uh, this one says 12. It's behind, too. It's actually 12.01. 11.59. How can the microwave be wrong? The microwave's two minutes slow. This is really a problem. But the reason this is Kubikaf on is because everyone wants to celebrate things in their social media that tell everybody how wonderful their life is and how great things are going. And I'm sharing with you the things that are a fail. And in my life, time is often a fail. It gets away from me. I'm trying to do too much and too little time. Let's see. My husband's desk says 12.03, and it's actually 12.01. And my desk oh, doesn't even have a clock because this is what I use all day long to tell me how late I'm really gonna be. Yes, I still use an old-fashioned watch. Can you even see that? What does it say? It says 12.04, and the actual time is 12.02, and my computer, of course, says 12.02. When I'm sitting in the computer, I know the real time. It still doesn't help me. The point is that <sighs> instead of telling everybody on social media, I've got a New Year's resolution. I'm going to be on time this year, which I've done many times before. But then not telling them when I fail. With Kubikaf on, I'm telling you, yes, I have a problem with this. And if you do too, it's all right. You can share it. Thanks for listening. I'll be back tomorrow.